Hello everyone, uh, welcome to our session on machine learning and today we want to dive more into lasso logistic regression, a powerful tool in feature selection and regularization in classification tasks. So we are, let's see how this model will help us uh, get the most significant features. So yeah, let's get into it and let's see. So first of all, we need to know our data that we are going to use. So I'm going to view the data, which is BC data, which is in the description. You can download it and you can load it in your machine. Uh, so this is our data set, different features, radius, texture, perimeter, area, spotness, and um, the diagnosis, that's our response variable. And we've added some noise uh, so that we see how the model is going to perform in face of noise, right? So that's it. Then uh, one more thing is we, we've also ran uh, a traditional logistic regression. We want to compare it with the lasso logistic regression. So for me to run that, it's, I will need a GLM net as the library we use for logistic regression and i'm going to call this fit 17 i'm um, first of all i'm just running the traditional logistic regressions then we'll make the comparison glm then diagnosis diagnosis that's that's our response variable and i want all explanatory variables so i'm running on all uh, explanatory variables so i don't need to list them here i can just put a full stop and a comma it means Let's do this on all response variables. Then if I wanted to run for two or three, I will have to specify them, right? So then I specify the family. The family is binomial. That's binomial and link is equal to logit. That's how you run a logistic regression. Um, then the next thing is I want to specify my data where is my data coming from it's coming from bc breast cancer data right i've already loaded this data and i can take a summary of this feed 17 right uh, so for logistic regression we can use aic to compare different models so the lower this the i the aic the better the model. So we are starting at 188, right? So the next thing is now to load or to perform the lasso logistic regression. So first of all, we need to create a new data set, which is called uh, X data. And we want to create a data frame for this one. And we want to scale our data. So why are we scaling our data? We are scaling our data because we want it to be Okay, lasso accepted to be in the same, your data should be in the same ranges. So we are giving it, we are giving all variables a standard deviation of one and the mean of zero. So it will be in the same scale. Then the next thing is to remove my response variable from the, from the scaling. We don't want to scale our response variable. Our response variable is at column six. So I'm saying on my B, C data, just remove column six, because uh, if you look at this, Column six is the diagnosis. So this is our column six. I want to remove it from the X data. So if we run this, we have removed our, our, our diagnosis. Then the next thing is to add back our diagnosis. Uh, so to add it back, I'm going to say X data dollar sign, then diagnosis. I'm now adding it back and I'm adding it back and I'm taking it from BC data. So I'm just taking it as it is and this time it's not scaled, but it is going to be combined with scaled data. So that's it. The next thing is to now to run the, the lasso. However, before we run it, we need to also to put it in a format that lasso accepts, which is a sort of a matrix. So to do that, I'm creating X files. These are the new variables that I'm creating. And I'm going to create matrix, model.matrix, model.matrix. So this is the format that Lasso accepts. And to do that, I'm going to put my exp my response variable and I run it through all the explanatory variables, which is X data. Our X data, remember the, the X data with the scaled data. 
Uh -huh. Then the next thing is now to run this. Let's see how it comes out. So we have, and one, one more thing, if we are to view this, or if I just call this, you see one more thing. Right, you can see we now have uh, this new variable called intercept. We don't need it for our modeling, so we can safely remove it, right? We can safely remove it. Oh, actually I removed a row, so it should be like this, right? So we have removed that intercept. Then the next thing is now to run the lasso regression. I'm going to save it, lasso. It is going to be GLM net. I remember the library that we loaded, uh, library. I'm going to load it again, GLM net. It's a library that can be used for both. Um, it can be used for both the, I don't know what happened here. Yeah, it can be used for both logistic and, um, and the lasso regression. So this is, uh, that's it, uh, library, GLMnet. Then we now run it, lasso fit, right, GLMnet. Then you specify your X, should be the X vars. Right, then your Y should be the PC data, should be the response variable, which is the diagnosis. And then you specify the alpha. So the alpha should be equal to one. If you put it zero, if you, it's alpha is either one or zero. If it is one, it means lasso. If it is zero, it means ridge regression, which is another a technique for regularization. Then the next thing is to specify family because this is a binomial, it's a binary. So we are going to make it binomial, right? Then the next thing is to specify, what else do we need to specify? I think that's all for this one. Yeah, we are not going to specify the Lambda for now. Let's see how this runs. And we are also going to, uh, we are going to plot. Before we make a plot, we need a library called plot more. Plot more. So this is the library that you use to make a, a plot for this lasso. So I'm going to say the function is called plot glmnet and you specify your data, your, your model, which is fit, fit lasso, right? And you specify your x var, which is going to be the lambda, lambda. Right, so we have this plot. Right, so while the plot works, because this is a regularization technique, it sort of brings uh, variables back to zero. So the faster a variable is brought to zero, or it's, it's, uh, it's made closer to zero, the weaker it is. So you can see all these noise, uh, these noise variables, they were easily brought to zero. Uh, as you can see here, and uh, you can see now the mean mean uh, mean variable that's mean radius uh, it's it sort of it follows uh, after the noise variables it shows that it's not a very strong uh, variable then you can see other variables like uh, the mean area which is which is following here and it takes long to get to zero which shows it's a much better uh, variable you can also see this gray one the gray one that's mean parameter you know it takes very long time to get to zero it shows that it's a very good uh, parameter so by by this we can select the models that, the, the the features that we see as important so that's how it helps you but however as you can see there are several lambdas here that are working so we need to to actually select a single lambda that we can work with and it will give us the good coefficients or features. So to do that, um, we can just check here. We can check here the coefficients of this lasso before we fit, uh, this is fit, this 
fit lasso right right so you can see that at different um different lambdas we have different results for our coefficients so these are different lasso these are different lambdas we are giving different coefficients so we want to select the most uh, optimum lambda to work with right so to do that we are going to use cross validation um so first of all we are going to create uh, a sequence of lambdas which is going to be how you just select uh, numbers different numbers and i'm going to say 10 the power sequence of, i'll start maybe from 4 to minus 4 and uh, by minus 1 so a sequence will give me a, a range of numbers and from those range of numbers we want to pick want the lasso to pick the best lambda then we'll create a model out of that right so the next thing is to now fit the lasso so i'm gonna call it lasso.cv and i'm going to say cv cross validation glm net and i'll just do the same thing as we we're doing x fast and y is going to be um bc data and that's gonna be my diagnosis and my alpha will remain as one for lasso and my family will remain binomial because it's a binary binomial then i'm also going to add um number of folds and folds my n folds is going to be 10 right i think that's all do we need anything alpha family yeah oh yeah so we are going to add the the lambda now it's gonna be lm so we want it to pick from this uh, range of numbers then we run this oh we have a challenge invalid times what's wrong mm. binomial diagnosis x bars oh yeah so our x bars we made a mistake i made a mistake here we should be x bars right perfect then the next thing is um the next thing is to check the the coefficients of this I think no the, the next thing is just for us now to pick the the right lambda so we can see it through i'll just write this best uh, lambda it's going to be how we find it is we say the lasso dot cv that we have created here then we put a dollar sign we look for one standard error this will give us the best uh, one it's gonna be let's see let's see um what is it lambda right so this will give us the best lambda if i'm going to say best lambda right so 0 0.01 is the best lambda that we can use perfect so now let's create the final lasso so i'm going to say lasso lasso final model it's going to be we are just now rerunning the model using 0 0.01 so this time it's gonna be gmm net and our x is going to be x fast our y is going to be pc our response variable data then diagnosis then from there we are going to specify our alpha which is going to be one and we specify our family which is going to be binomial because it's a binary then we are going to specify the lambda so in this case we are going to use 0 0.01 or we can just say it's called to best it's lambda right so i think we have all we need for now so we can run this and we can com we can actually see the coefficients coefficients of lasso dot final 
right? So for if we are using 0 0.01, these are the results. Let's see, let's try to compare the, the, the coefficients with the logistic regression. So I'm going to say term, that's my variable that I'm creating. It is going to contain all the coefficients. So I'm just calling it temp, you can call it a name. Um, so from that, you can create a data frame. I'm going to create, create it through C bind, C bind. And I create uh, the data frame. I'm going to combine the coefficients from my fit 17. That was the traditional uh, logistic regression. And then the next thing is I also want to take the coefficients from from the from the lasso regression. So I'm going to say coefficient. I'm going to make it a vector. Then I say coefficient lasso final right lasso final right. So this will contain the coefficient from the traditional logistic regression and this will con contain the the coefficients of the lasso regression right so the next thing i'm going to do is let's view how the temp will look like right so we can see that we have these coefficients but we can just correct these uh, names here um so i'm going to say names that's column names names of temp it's gonna be c the first one is coefficient of traditional logistic regression so i'm just gonna say logistic regression and the next one is um lasso regression so that we come right let's call this temp here Right, so you can see now logistic regression uh, for mean radius, we had logistic at six, and here it has been brought to zero, it means it's insignificant, you don't need it in the model. Texture is a number, which is more than non-zero number, it means it is significant. Uh, then parameter is significant as well. Area is insignificant, we need to leave it. And uh, smoothness, it's also significant so we have smoothness and uh, a perimeter and texture so these are the significant variables we have so you can easily pick these ones as your very uh, important variables however for noise as you can see now this is where lasso shows its power it brought down all the, the noise to zero it means they are insignificant however um logistic tried to to, if we run this in, on logistic, if we compare the AIC uh, with noise, it's increased. It shows that the model wasn't improving. But however, it gives them a non-zero non number. Yeah, though, yeah, though the AIC improved, but it shows that it's not that strong as lasso regression. So lasso regression remains uh, the best model for feature selection. Thank you so much for watching this video and getting to know how lasso regression lasso logistic regression is done and uh, appreciate how it is done thank you so much uh, see you in the next video